Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to begin Mass Effect 2. I'm very excited. I'm happy. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a lot of fun here. Um, especially this one. I feel like Mass Effect 1, great startup. All that, like 2007, it was amazing for its time. But I feel like where it's really going to shine or start to shine is this game and the next um so i'm looking forward to seeing where this goes film grain i'll turn that off all right that's all good there calibration don't think we really need it well actually we turn hdr off that's funny when i turned it off it actually Uh, will enable HDR when it is available. Yeah, well, I don't have HDR anyway, so that's okay. Sounds. Okay, let's hope that the sounds are a little bit on a better level in this game than the last, because the last one got really loud at some points. But either way, we'll figure it out. Uh, auto level up, off, squad usage. Uh, squad power usage uh enable squad members automatically use their most effective powers in combat when disabled squad members only use defensive and ammo powers automatically i'll turn that on so yeah in def by default in the first game this is disabled but it's also called defense powers but in this game it uh mass effect 2 it looks like it's different so let's go ahead and hit new game import now there's my guy level 45 wait what wait does that mean he's automatically level 45 in this game no no way in the first one he was level uh like 25 oh maybe that's oh no no i think i think i know what it does because technically in the first game there's 60 levels so there's automatic scaling legendary scaling and it must have turned my uh if i if i had the scaling disabled then he probably would have been level 45 out of 60 instead of um level like 25 or whatever it was because they condensed it down to 30 levels for the first game uh if you kept it enabled so we're gonna stay dave shepherd rank military can we like change any of these okay all i did was double click I guess we're jumping right into it. Shepard did everything right. More than we could have hoped for. Commander Shepard uncovered the truth. And still it's not enough. We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. But they're sending him to fight Geth. Geth. We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. And it's up to us to stop them. The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help. Even after everything humanity has accomplished. But Shepard... They'll follow him. He's a hero, a bloody icon. But he's just one man. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. Then see to it that we don't lose him. One month after the devastating Geth attack on the Citadel, the galaxy communi community struggles to rebuild the Alliance fleet, made tremendous sacrifice, save the Council and humanity. Uh, membership and now is forced to evidence of the Reaper is enormous uh, to quell the rumors. Yeah, we'd never have enough time to read all of that. <laughs> I 
Disengaging FTL drives. Emission sinks active. Board is green. We are running silent. We're wasting our time. Four days searching up and down this sector, and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. Three ships went missing here in the past month. Something happened to them. My money's on slavers. The Terminus system is crawling with them. Picking up something on the long-range scanner. Unidentified vessel. Hmm. Looks like a cruiser. Doesn't match any known signatures. Cruiser is changing course. Now on intercept trajectory. Can't be. Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could possibly... It's not the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers! Presley! Ugh. Kinetic barriers down! Multiple hull breaches! Weapons offline! Somebody get that fire out! be here. The Alliance won't abandon us. We just need to hold on. Get everyone oh, onto the escape shuttle. Joker's still in the cockpit. He won't abandon ship. I'm I think I remember. Either. Never mind. I think there's hope. I need you to get the crew onto the evac shuttles. I'll take care of Joker. Commander! Caden, go. Now. Go to the cockpit. Mayday! 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 This is SSV Normandy! We've suffered heavy damage from an unknown enemy! Come on, baby, hold together. Hold together! Oh, God. That is terrifying. Armor looks sick right here, though. I will say on a positive note, you know, facing doom and death right now, but well, armor looks pretty cool. At least we're dying in style. Come on, Joker. We have to get out of here. No, I won't abandon the Normandy. I can still save her. The Normandy's lost. Going down with the ship won't change that. Yeah, okay. Help me up. They're coming around for another attack!
the sound quality is like amazing also holy crap that was it for the mass effect series the end all right guys thank you for coming by i appreciate it that's it just kidding we're just getting started don't worry mass effect genesis is an interactive comic that summarizes the events of mass effect one would you like to review your story so far sure just in case if there's anybody hopping in for mass effect 2 Here's the choices that I made. Interactive backstory comic. That's pretty cool. Just another routine mission. Why do they always say that before a mission? Of course it's routine. You haven't done anything yet. It's everything that happens along the way. The choices you make, the paths you choose, that turn the routine into anything but. Of course, that's how it started. A routine mission. Answering a distress call. And look where that got me. We were testing out the Normandy, Captain Anderson's new ship, when the distress call came in. An Alliance patrol on Eden Prime had been attacked. They'd seen something they couldn't explain. And whatever it was, it was massive. I hit the ground with my lieutenant, Caden Olenko. A good kid, loyal, by the book, with a talent for biotics. We came across the lone survivor of the patrol. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams, a soldier to the core, tough, disciplined, ready to take on whatever came her way. Ashley joined up with us and took us to the spot where she lost her squad. That's when we saw it. The ship. Like nothing I'd ever seen. It was massive, scorching the colony and everything around it as it blasted away. We followed the path of destruction to an artifact. A beacon left by a long-dead race called the Protheans. The colony had dug it up, and whoever attacked them had tried to take it. Chief Williams made the mistake of getting too close. It hit her with some type of energy. I grabbed her and threw her out of the way. And that's when it hit me. Hard. Every muscle in my body went rigid. I couldn't move. Could barely breathe. Everything went black. And then I saw something. A vision. A dream. A nightmare. By the time I woke up, we were halfway to the Citadel on our way to meet the Council. I was expected to explain what I'd seen. Anderson came along. So did Adina, our political representative on the Citadel. With those two heavyweights, it seemed reasonable we could persuade the Council that the ship we'd seen was a potential threat. As was the individual behind the attacks. The main suspect for the Eden Prime Massacre was a Turian Spectre named Saren. He'd been seen by one of the survivors from the colony at Eden Prime, and there was some evidence to suggest that the ship was connected to Saren. But even Adina's pointed accusations weren't enough to convince the Council. They just couldn't believe one of their chosen elite specters could be guilty of something like that. They needed proof, which meant I needed proof. Fortunately, I wasn't alone in my search. Garrus, another Turian, wanted to help. A top agent for Citadel security, Despite orders from his superiors that he shouldn't get involved, he told me he was suspicious of Saren, and he had some useful leads. More importantly, he was willing to share them. That led me to Rex, the biggest, nastiest looking Krogan bounty hunter I'd ever seen. He turned out to be more than just a brute. It was his intel that led to a fugitive with incriminating evidence on Saren. The fugitive turned out to be an energetic little quarian named Tally. A tech expert with a knack for hacking, She'd procured some information on Saren. Evidence that proved Saren was dirty. Tally's evidence proved that Saren was responsible for the massacre on Eden Prime, and that the immense warship we'd spotted was in fact Saren's flagship. But it went much further. Saren was trying to find a way to bring back a race of sentient machines from dark space. Machines allegedly responsible for cleansing the galaxy of all organic life. These Reapers were blamed for wiping out all life 50,000 years ago, including the Protheans. 
then disappearing back through the mass relays to dark space, leaving no trace they'd ever been. That explained why Saren was after the beacon, and it made some sense out of my visions. But not much else. We couldn't convince the Council that the Reapers were a threat, but they agreed Saren had to be stopped. They stripped him of his Spectre status and gave me the honor of becoming the first human Spectre. My first task? Bring down Saren. Anderson decided to stay behind, giving up his ship, the Normandy. He told me I would need it more than he would. He also pointed me in a direction. Liara. A Prothean expert, adept in biotics, and maybe most importantly, daughter of Benezia, Saren's top lieutenant. And like most Asari, as beautiful as she is intelligent, and born with a unique ability to meld with other species. Liara was able to help me decipher some of the vision the beacon had given me. Nothing concrete, but it gave me some clues. And a new appreciation for the Asari. Her technique for accessing my vision was unexpected, but not at all unpleasant. Ashley was a little concerned about the connection I shared with Liara. As commander, I knew either relationship had the potential to interfere with the mission. I decided discretion was the better part of valor, and kept my focus on our goal. Finding Saren. Thanks to Liara's help, we had our next lead. Benezia. This is very in-depth with Saren all the choices that we made. Where he'd enslaved a dangerous race of insect-like creatures. But that's alright. He ordered Benezia to use the same technique Liara had used on me to extract information from the Rachni Queen. The Queen's drones were everywhere, and they weren't happy. We had to fight through hundreds of them to get to Benezia. By the time we arrived, Saren was gone. With the information. I tried to reason with Benezia, but Saren had indoctrinated her. He had somehow acquired the ability to control people's actions and wills. Benezia wouldn't surrender. And Liara was forced to watch her mother die in her arms. And I was left with an angry, dangerous Rachni queen to deal with. She claimed her drones would do no harm if I released her. But the Rachni had terrorized the galaxy before. I couldn't do it. I wouldn't doom an entire species for past sins. And the queen was true to her word. She left and took her army of drones with her. With Saren's top lieutenant dead, he was quickly running out of time and places to hide. I tracked him down at his base on Vermeer, but we soon learned it was more than a base of operations. It was a breeding ground. Saren was breeding an army of Krogan. He'd found a cure for the Genophage, a disease inflicted on the Krogan to prevent them from breeding and taking over the galaxy. But the Krogan Saren was breeding were slaves, mindless beasts that obeyed Saren's will. I had to destroy the base and all its research. Rex disagreed. Violently. Rex wanted the Genophage cure for his people. I tried to convince him to help me destroy it, that these Krogan weren't real. But he wouldn't back down. Fortunately, Rex is smarter than he looks. He realized this wasn't the way to help his people, and that Saren was the real threat. When we finally got to the center of the base, I realized just how close Saren was to completing his plan. He was already in communication with the Reapers. Sovereign. Saren's flagship we'd all assumed was just a ship. It was a Reaper. It spoke to me. Threatened me. I could feel the menace it had for every living thing. It wanted me dead. It wanted us all dead. And I knew it was capable of doing just that. What I couldn't understand was why Saren would help it. But there was no time to think about it. Sovereign knew where we were. We had to destroy the base and get the hell out. I split up my team in two squads, sending Ash with one and Caden with the other as a distraction. We had a nuke, and we planned to use it. Before we could detonate the bomb, Saren showed up. We fought. I stalled him to make time for my team. And in talking to him, I realized the truth. It wasn't Saren who was indoctrinating everyone. It was Sovereign. The Reaper. And Saren was in deeper than all of them. He tried to convince me he was still in control, said he found a way to reduce the Reaper's influence, but he was kidding himself, or believing the lies Sovereign was telling him. Before I could convince him to stop, he ran, leaving me just seconds to extract my squad mates. I tried, but I wasn't fast enough. I could only save one of them. Ash was a good friend, and a great soldier, but I had to choose, and I chose Caden. 
That was the last time Saren would slip away from me. I knew then, the next time we met, one of us would die. With my team mostly intact, we chased Saren and his army to Ilos, a long-lost planet that had once belonged to the Protheans. As we prepared for what we knew would be a desperate fight, I spoke to my crew. We were just one ship, against Saren's growing army. I assured them all that despite the odds, we could defeat him. I'd never tell anyone, but I had my doubts. Leaving Ashley behind had hardened my resolve, but revealed a soft spot in my defenses. How many more friends and allies would I be willing to sacrifice in order to stop Saren? We arrived on Ilos close behind Saren. Once on the planet, we discovered a Prothean databank that helped me put the final pieces of my vision together. The Reapers had come 50,000 years ago, and every 50,000 years before that, each time purging the galaxy of life. The Protheans had fought and died, like every species before them. But a few survived long enough to leave a parting gift. The Protheans had discovered that the Citadel was the key to controlling the mass relays. By sabotaging the Citadel, they found a way to close the relays to dark space, slowing the Reaper's return, giving us the time we needed to find a solution to stop the Reapers once and for all. Saren knew this. He was leading his army to take control of the Citadel and re-establish the relays to dark space, bringing the waiting Reapers here to destroy us all. We followed him to the Citadel. It was intact, but heavily damaged. He had caught the Council fleets by surprise and they were only now regrouping. And with Sovereign as his flagship, there was little hope the fleets could counterattack with enough strength to take back the Citadel. But Saren was done running, and I was done chasing him. As the Alliance and Citadel fleets battled Saren's army outside, I cornered the Turian bastard in the Citadel Tower and confronted him. He died believing that the Reapers would save him. As I fought to regain control of the Citadel, the Council's flagship, the Destiny Ascension, fell under attack. Despite Saren's death, Sovereign and Saren's army continued to fight. The Council was aboard the Destiny Ascension, and they were requesting assistance. But I knew in order to help them, I would have to put our human Alliance fleet in jeopardy. The Council had to be saved. They represented the hearts and minds of the galactic community. Without them, the fleets would be in disarray. Even with the Citadel back in my control, Saren defeated, and the Normandy leading the combined galactic fleet, the battle against Sovereign, a single Reaper, was relentless. It took the combined fleets of humanity and the other races, but in the end, Sovereign fell. But the costs were immense. While humanity's efforts in the war earned us our first seat on the Council, it was a hollow victory. The Reapers were still out there. I knew the fight was far from over, but as the one who'd led the fight against Saren, I was given new responsibilities. The choice of humanity's first counselor was left for me to decide. On the one hand, Udina, the lifetime politician. Ruthless and ambitious, he would easily navigate the political landmines that would soon be put in front of him. The other choice, Captain Anderson, the career soldier. Tough but fair, but a friend, and someone I could trust. Both great leaders in their own right. Anderson didn't want the job, which was a sure sign he'd be perfect for it. No ambition to get in the way. The war was over. The threat had passed. In time, the Council would rebuild itself. The Citadel could be repaired. Even the pain of lost friends would fade. But none of that mattered if the Reapers were still out there. And if they were all as powerful as Sovereign, we had to find a way to stop them. I had to find a way. I gathered my crew, took my ship, and went in search of answers. Officially, the Council would only say I was assigned to cleanup duty, rooting out any remnants of Saren's army. Just another routine mission. Commander Shepard has been recovered. The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned.
Thank you, bad. Ugh. Yo. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, so that was pretty cool watching that whole thing there. Thank you for reminding me. Oh, dude, I need to stop pressing that button. Unless if I know, I'm going to be muted. But, uh, yeah, so what I was saying two seconds ago was... So right here, um... <laughs> oh, dude, crisis averted. Right here, uh... I was going to reclass and everything, and as that comic was going on, um, I decided to, to look up some of the classes. So originally, I started out as an engineer, and I was looking at the classes online as well. I wanted to go something that had the abilities like uh, Singularity, Warp, and Pull, but also have the abilities of doing like Overload, AI Hacking, and whatever else unfortunately they don't have an option like that uh soldier is just like all your gun weapon training all that infiltrator is uh kind of like the sniping but then they're also partially a engineer vanguard is a lot of biotic abilities full shockwave sentinel similar to engineer but they have like tech armor, pro warp overload, cryoblast. Adept is like almost all biotic. And then they have some weapon and they have the ability, but then engineer has a cool ability that I've never used before in Mass Effect called combat drone. So on the first game, I was an engineer which had um, sabotage, overload, uh, AI hacking, and um neural hacking and then another one but in this one if you go as an engineer you get a combat drone that spawns and follows you around so i think that's actually pretty cool i think that will be interesting to play as so i'm actually going to stay as an engineer for this playthrough so we'll select that uh your achievements give you access to one of the following bonus bonus powers that's pretty cool Huh, that's actually really neat. Armor piercing ammo, barrier slam, fortification, reeve neural shock, shredder ammo, warp ammo. Neural shock? That's like the same as the other ability, right? Does it tell me what it does? Also, what is slam? Achievement powers. Hold on, let me look this up real quick. I might stick with Neural Shock because that's what we had in the original one. So. Class powers, squad mates. Here it is. I think. Upgrades? Oh, no. Um, Commander Shepard, basic powers. I don't really see any that says. Bonus powers, here we go. I think. I don't know. I'm honestly about to just choose one. I guess they're technically all their like own ability. I might just do Neural Shock. Um, armor piercing ammo, kind of cool too though. Let's just go Neural Shock. All right, so same thing. Dave Shepard, Origin, Spacer, Reputation, War Hero, Class, Engineer, Powers, Neural Shock. Let's hit accept. Unable to change, confirm. Here we go. Oh, it was popping tonight. Hello, everybody. Welcome. I'm Cassis Clay. On the monitor. Something's wrong. 
It's reacting to outside stimuli, showing an awareness of his surroundings. Oh my God, Miranda, I think he's waking up. Damn it, Wilson, he's not ready yet. Give him the sedative. Shepard, don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Heart rate's still climbing. Brain activity is off the charts. The stat's pushing into the red zone. It's not working. Another dose. Now. Heart rate dropping. Stat's falling back into normal range. That was too close. We almost lost him. I told you your estimates were off. Run the numbers again. Magazine, magazine. Yeah, that even bothers me. Looks like they set up a barricade to try holding the mechs off. Look out. Yeah, this feels so different. For uh compared to playing like 15 hours of the first game. Playing this game in probably like 20 nice FPS on my laptop when I originally got this uh, on like my first like modern, uh, almost modern PC. But it wasn't the most powerful, but it still looked pretty good. Oh God. Uh, left shift. You got it. <laughs> Bang. Whoa. I didn't realize that was an elevator. Roof fire. Wait, what the? Was that the grenade launcher? I thought we had the pistol out. Progress is slow, but subject shows signs of recovery. Major organs are again functional, and there are signs of rudimentary neurological activity. Log update. The cost of this project is astronomical. Over four billion credits so far. But nobody seems to care that we've gone over budget. I don't know where the boss gets all this money. Maybe it's better not to know. I just wish The UI for this is, uh... Interesting. I saw s Oh god. He's dead. Log update. I can't figure Miranda out. This project director she I saw somebody post a uh FOV mod for this game. Jacob, oh boy. I honestly might have to check it out at some point. What are you doing here? I thought you were still a work in progress. Are you with Miranda? Yeah, sorry. I forgot this is all new to you right now. I'm Jacob Taylor. I've been stationed here for- Hostiles detected. Damn it! Nice. 
Things must be worse than I thought if Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you in, but we better get you to the shuttle first. All right, lead the way. Station, Jacob. I'll follow you. First step, let's finish off these metal bastards. We're low on thermal clips, but I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit them with the good stuff. Mouse over the pull power. Target down! They're falling back. Ready to get the hell off this station? Before we go anywhere, I need some answers. Sure. What do you want to know? What's the quickest way to those shuttles? <laughs> Depends where the mechs are thickest. It's probably best if we... Check. Check. Anyone on this frequency? Anybody still alive out there? Hello? Wilson, this is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave of mechs over in D-Wing. Shepard's alive? How the hell? Never mind. You need to get him out of there. Get to the service tunnels and head for the network control room. Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. Let's get out of here. You bet. We can get into the service tunnels through this door. Go, go, go. Sensors activated. Damn it, Wilson. This room is crawling with mechs. The whole station is crawling with mechs. I'm doing the best I can. Collision. <laughs> We're coming! Up those stairs, Shepard! Oh god! I'm hit! Shepard! Down here! Bastards got me in the leg! You were there the first time I regained consciousness. Yeah. That was me. <laughs> How about we talk about this after we fix my leg? Should be some metagel in the first aid station on the wall. Hopefully there's enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the metagel from the first aid station on the wall. I have the metagel from the first aid station on the wall. Wilson's hurt bad. He needs help. Hi. <laughs> Which one is it? Wait, use Unity? Oh, it's this one. First, Thanks, Jacob Shepherd. said, "Grab it from the Never wall," you'd save my and life. then he is like, "Grab the metagel." That makes us even now. From the wall. I thought maybe I could shut down the security mix, but whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. We didn't ask what you were doing. Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Weren't you listening? I came here to try and fix this. Besides, I was shot. How do you explain that? You're all strangers to me. Let's get someplace safe, then we'll sort out whose fault it is. Right, Shepard. We need to find Miranda. We can't leave her behind. Forget about Miranda. She was over in D-Wing. The mechs were all over that sector. There's no way she survived. A bunch of mechs won't drop Miranda. She's alive. Then where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead, or she's a traitor. Then why did you wake me up and warn me about the attack? Okay, maybe she's not a traitor, but that doesn't change the facts. We're here, she's not. We need to save ourselves. The shuttle bay is only a few. We can overload the canisters to clear a path to the shuttles. Impact. Next, don't know when to quit. Rerouting power. <clears throat> The way to the shuttles is through those canisters. Oh, use overload. I'm like trying to shoot it, yet I'm not reading. I'm also trying to That's find it. out where get out of here. the name of the abilities actually is, but now I see it. Okay, we took him down, but this is getting tense. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, will you trust me? This really isn't the time, Jacob. 
We won't make it if he's expecting a shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus Project. The program that rebuilt you. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. I think I ran into Cerberus a few times while I was investigating Saren. Some kind of pro-human splinter group, right? Well, that's what the Alliance wants people to believe. But there's more to it. The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Look, I'd be suspicious too. But right now, we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. Once we're off the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. He'll explain everything. I promise. I'll never work for Cerberus. Well, if I won't get any more answers here, let's get moving. <laughs> it's not much farther to the shuttle bay. Keep it casual. I don't need to say that. Aragon. Metagel used. Metagel gained. Access. Ready. Oh, I forgot. Um, yeah, let me throw these up. Target is synthetic. Uh, overload. So that's one. Throw this to two. Can I throw his their abilities? Oh, that's pretty cool. Nice. It's neat that it actually tells you like when you have um, an enemy that that will be not uh, synthetic. Yeah, lost shield. I'm trying to get in cover, but you have to actually press space for this one. Who's that? Okay, nice. H is still, uh... Put your weapon away. Come on, through here. We're almost at the... Miranda, but oh. you were... Dead? Damn. What the hell are you doing? He was My a traitor. Job. Wilson betrayed us all. Even if you're sure, did he deserve that welcome? He sabotaged the security systems, killed my staff, and he would have killed us. You sure about that, Miranda? We've known Wilson for years. What if you're wrong? I'm never wrong. I thought you'd have learned that by now, Jacob. If you say so, what's our next step? We get on the shuttle and go. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, uh, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get him to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, commander? I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. Aha. Oh, wow. We literally just leave right away. Okay. Before you meet with the elusive man, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. Did you say two years? I've been gone that long? Two years and twelve days. And you were on an operating table for most of it. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you were a spacer kid, raised mostly on one ship or another. You enlisted and won a medal fighting Batarians during the Skillian Blitz. Do you remember that? A lot of lives depended on me holding that position. I did what I had to. However you want to put it, it was damn impressive. 
I had friends who were there. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeyer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility, you had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave her behind? I left a friend to die that day, and I didn't do it casually. But I had to save as many people as I could. Ash gave her life for the rest of the team. Without her, I couldn't have stopped Saren. She died a hero. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. <laughs> Talk to the elusive man. Go speak with the, the elusive, elusive man, man is in the room in the downstairs. Alright. The elusive man is waiting for you in the other room. I heard, I heard. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> okay. What? Dude, that's sick. I don't remember this. Shoulders. Recon helmet, that's pretty cool. Hmm. No other chest plates, that's all right. Do we move this down, I guess? Material. I guess you can see like carbon fiber. Wait, does it tell you? Or is it just like Dude, the armor is so sick. I love it. Perfect. Gray or black? Kind of feeling the. Uh... Let's go black. Black armor always looks amazing. And you have tints. That's pretty sick. Is that blue? That part's blue. Could just keep it gray for this part. Pattern? Oh yeah, I think I remember this. Keep it simple. Pattern color. We'll probably leave it that red, because that always looks good. Yeah, let's leave it that red. Sweet. Casual appearance. Yeah, I remember this. What? We have so many options. That's like ambassador outfit. That's interesting. What? <laughs> Yo, what? I've never seen that. That's, I mean, that's cool. It's a little weird, but it's cool. But what is this? What is that? I feel like he's a dude from like Final Fantasy or something. Super casual Shepherd. That's pretty cool too. And leather jacket Shepherd. They all look pretty cool either way. I used to have my guy run around in this. I I really like this outfit. <laughs> I might actually roll with this. It apply. Or uh, at least I don't remember any of that. Um, hold on, I'm gonna run this real quick. 
Just so it's uh, done and over with and we have no pre-rolls. Commander Shepard. Elusive man. I thought we'd be meeting face to face. Unnecessary precaution. Not unusual for people who know what you and I know. And what exactly is it that you and I know? That our place in the universe is more fragile than we'd like to think. That one man, one very specific man, might be all that stands between humanity and the greatest threat of our brief existence. The Reapers. Good to see your memory's still intact. How are you feeling? You need to earn the right to ask me those kinds of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as you believe. You and I are on the same side. We just have different methods. Cut to the chase. What are the Reapers doing that made you decide to bring me back? We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. While you've been sleeping, entire colonies have been disappearing. Human colonies. We believe it's someone working for the Reapers, just as Saren and the Geth ate its Sovereign. You've seen it yourself. You bested all of them. That's just one reason we chose you. Nothing you say is going to convince me to trust you. I need more than words. I'd be disappointed if I could persuade you that easily. Go and see for yourself. I have a shuttle ready to take you to Freedom's Progress, the latest colony to be abducted. Miranda and Jacob will brief you. Is this a volunteer job, or am I being volunteered? You always have a choice, Shepard. If you don't find the evidence we're both looking for, we can part ways. But first, go to Freedom's Progress. Find any clues you can. Who's abducting the colonies? Do they have any connection to the Reapers? I brought you back. It's up to you to do the rest. Nice. <clears throat> the Elusive Man is such a cool character. And the uh, Martin Sheen, I think his name is. Um, he's a really good voice, like actor and voice actor too. Funny thing is, I just watched um, The Departed not too long ago. Okay, so right here we have, uh, so we have Overload and we unlock. Is this already unlocked? Cryoblast AI hacking. Required Cryoblast 2. Ah, so that's how that works. Grown 2, Tech Mastery. Reducing the recharge of your powers, your mental focus, increasing your paragon. Wait, really? Tech Master, your engineering is more efficient in reducing the recharge time of your powers. Your mental focus increases your paragon and re renegade scores. Okay, so you get more points. That's cool. How many points does it... So it costs two for that one, I see. Oh, so that's the combat drone. I was trying to figure out what that was, but I see it now. Need two points for that. All nearby his enemies and permanently stops their armor or health regeneration. Cool. Good save. The elusive man is very impressed with you. I'm eager to see if you can live up to his expectations on this mission. I never got a chance to say how much I appreciated what the Lazarus Project did for me. 
I just hope it was worth it. A lot of people lost their lives on that station. We have to work together here. Your attitude isn't helping anything. I have the utmost respect for your abilities, Shepard. It's your motivations that concern me. I believe in what Cerberus stands for. Only time will tell if you prove to be an asset or a liability to our cause. It's obvious you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it or we can do it. Okay. How about Jacob? I'm glad the elusive man convinced you to join us, Commander. I just want to find out what happened to those missing people. I still don't trust Cerberus. Noted. Do you trust me, Commander? You're a good man, Jacob. But you might be working for the wrong people. Maybe. But I thought the same when I was with the Alliance. That's why I'm here now. Do you know anything about this colony we're going to? It's called Freedom's Progress. Don't know much else. I guess we'll find out when we get there. You said you served in the Alliance? Five years in total. Stationed all over the galaxy. Even spent a couple of years as a Corsair. I've never heard of the Corsairs. It was an Alliance initiative. They hired independent starship captains and used them for missions that fell outside official Alliance jurisdiction. Technically, hmm. we weren't part of the Alliance. If we ever got caught, they could disavow any knowledge of us. We were supposed to be free from restrictions and rules. But there was still enough red tape to sink a cruiser. I finally just gave up. Damn. That's all for now. <clears throat> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, okay, cool. You actually the rest get of Paragon. us are ready to leave, Shepard. We're just waiting for you to get on the shuttle. What can you tell me about this colony we're going to? Freedom's Progress? It's a typical human settlement in the Terminus systems. So I think in this they game it's more worth... They have a military force for protection supplemented by mechs and security drones. Doing Average the uh, almost investigation every way, really. conversation. Completely unremarkable. Until the disappearance. Any thoughts on what we might run into there? A lot of empty buildings and one giant mystery. I'd like to know more about the Lazarus project from the person in charge. I wasn't in charge. The elusive man was. If I was running the show, would have done a few things differently. What would you have changed? To start, I would have implanted you with some type of control chip. But the elusive man wouldn't allow it. Damn. He was afraid it might affect your personality, alter your character somehow. He wouldn't let us do anything that might limit your potential in any way. Can't say I like the idea of being brought back to life with a control chip in my brain. The elusive man is taking an incredible risk with you. I just hope his gamble pays off. All right. Tell me a little about yourself. Worried about my qualifications? I can crush a mech with my biotics or shoot its head off at a hundred yards. Take your pick. I was trying to get to know you as a human being. I'm not looking for a friend, Shepard. Stay focused on the mission. Oh, okay. Did you and Jacob serve together in the Alliance? No. The elusive man recognized my potential and recruited me at a young age. How old were you? Old enough to know this is what I wanted. It's obvious you're not interested in talking. We've got an assignment. We can talk about it or we can do it. Alright, well, let's do it then. Level up. Okay, cool. You get actual, like, um, stats and stuff. Level 3, Shepard, Mission Summary, Import Bonuses. You receive the following bonuses for importing a level 45 character into Mass Effect 2. Start at level 2, plus all that, that's neat. 190 Paladin, or Paragon. Following bonuses for that, all missions retain. Reddits, holy crap, a lot of stuff. Nade Launcher, and more credits. Nice. Man, replaying this this series. Ah, oh, so good so we far. Be there shortly, Shepard. Love the it. The elusive man put us under your command. Do you have any orders? Our first priority is to look for survivors. That's unlikely, Commander. No one was left at the other colonies. They were completely deserted. Be nice to find somebody. Anything's better than another ghost town. It's crazy that we just get, like, uh, 
we we lose complete like access oh, i don't want to say access but like you lose uh all of your members your crew your technically everybody and i mean you, you do gain gain like weapons and stuff which is cool uh okay so oh yeah you can have two pistols how do we open up the inventory did i level up again or no i know but i can level up them hmm. so we have pull incendiary ammo or this barrier squad member is not loyal locked huh but you have to have them they have to be loyal first resistant to fire damage do that and Miranda overlord warp and Cerberus officer give her warp and that is there an equipment tag this time around a j l h t y j k l h g all right what's the option <laughs> what are the key binds here walk left control saving got that hide order order attack that's all the same move toggle camera middle mouse button boost left shift jump leave world f they're like a menu map m don't see like a inventory unless if we haven't like unlocked it yet i don't know or if it, or if you like go somewhere specific and then switch to it there not sure how it works zero contacts I forget too. Okay. Huh. Even when you press Looks M. Looks like everyone just got up and left right in the middle of dinner. It just brings up like a mini map for like two seconds. And tells you go this way. Strange. No bodies, no structural damage, and no signs of battle. Ah, uh, interesting. Very interesting. Yeah. That? Where? Strange. Security systems were disabled under the cold. <clears throat> oh, that's my. Someone so you, reprogrammed them to attack on site. We're not alone here. Huh. So you can only use one ability at a time in this. This one. Bypass. Uh, highlight individual nodes to find the matching symbols. When you complete two matching symbols, select the complete the circuit. Complete all circuits before you run out to bypass security. Oh, 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 shoot. Think I get it. Okay, just like that. Not too bad. We've been spotted. Allied 
that I play. Oh, right there. Fraza, you said you'd let me handle this. Tali. Wait. Shepard? I'm not taking any chances with Cerberus operatives. Put those weapons down. Shepard? Is that... You're alive? Cerberus rebuilt me, Tal. In return, they asked me to investigate these attacks on human colonies. You'll pardon us for not taking you at your words, Cerberus. We're well within our rights to investigate attacks on a human colony. I'd like to know what the Quarians are doing here. Weapons down, Praza. Whatever's going on here, I don't think we need another fight. One of our people was here on pilgrimage. His name was Vitor. We came to find him. Isn't that a little strange? A Quarian visiting a remote human colony? Quarians can choose where they go on pilgrimage. Vitor liked the idea of helping a small settlement. He was always nervous in crowds. She means that he was unstable. Combine that with damage to his suit CO2 scrubbers and an infection from an open-air exposure, and he's likely delirious. When he saw us landing, he hid in a warehouse on the far side of town. We suspect he also programmed the mechs to attack anything that moved. Vitor's the only one who can tell us what happened here. We should work together to find him. Good idea. You'll need two teams to get past the drones anyway. Now we're working with Cerberus? No, Praza. You're working for me. If you can't follow orders, go wait on the ship. Head for the warehouse through the center of the colony. We'll circle around the far side and draw off some of the drones to clear you a path. Sounds like a plan. Make sure to keep in radio contact. Will do. Good luck, Shepard. See you on the far side. Find Vitor. Be careful, Shepard. There's a squad of security drones up ahead. Thanks for the warning. We'll take care of them. They've seen us. I've got him! Nice. <laughs> Wait, are they still gonna fire at us? Okay, so this time... Wait, did I fail it? Uh... If you exit, I think you fail. That's okay. Now we know. Use overload on them. Lost shield. Got you! Got you! Those guys just have a bunch of, uh, shields, it seems. They blow up when their shields run out. Shepard, Prana and his squad rushed on ahead. I told them to wait, but they wouldn't listen. They want to find Vitor and take him away before you get here. We should have expected this. Come on, we can still catch them. Yes, I see the objective in the corner. One left. Enemy down. Target down. They did want to get to Vito first. Get your squad into cover and I'll open the loading bay doors. We'll take cover by the doors. Shepard, you take point. Affirmative. Sounds good. Oh god, is that one of the mechs? Heavy armor plating. Those quarians never stood a chance. This is gonna be one tough son of a bitch to take down. I like how they give suggestions. <laughs> Attacking 
Yeah, I really wish there was like Hostiles are view, clear. Um, some sort of field of view. It's it's honestly kind of crazy that they there's practically no graphics options in this game. This is your chance to go find Vitor while I tend to the wounded shepherd. He's probably somewhere in the back of the loading bay. Other than that, I mean everything else is pretty smooth and clean and it looks good and all. It's just still kind of crazy monsters coming back Mex will protect safe from swarms have to hide no monsters no swarms no 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 Vitor no Vitor not here swarms can't find monsters coming have to hide nobody's gonna hurt you anymore I don't think he can hear you commander Have to hide. Oh. Max will protect. Ooh. I'm gonna have to be able to be ready for Human. this. Where did you hide? Oh, they didn't find you. Who didn't find us? The, the monsters, the swarms. They took everyone. Why didn't the colonists fight back, Vitor? What happened? You don't know. You didn't see, but I see everything. Looks like security footage. He must have pieced it together manually. What the hell is that? My god. I think it's a collector. Is that some kind of alien? There are species from somewhere beyond the Omega-4 relay. Only a few people have ever seen one in person. They usually work through intermediaries, like slavers or hired mercenaries. If they're involved with the Reapers somehow, it could explain what happened to the colonies. Oh, I remember them now. The Collectors have advanced technology. They could have a weapon that disables an entire settlement at once. The Seeker swarms. No one can hide. The Seekers find you, freeze you, then the monsters take you away. Tell me more about these swarms. It's how they find you. Seeker clouds, machines like tiny insects. They go everywhere. They find you, then they sting you, freeze you. Sounds like miniature probes, maybe. Find victims, then immobilize them with a stasis field or nerve toxin. What happened next? The monsters took the people onto the ship, and then they left. The ship flew away. But they'll be back for me. No one escaped. I think that's probably all we're getting out of him, Commander. We appreciate what you told us. You were very helpful. I studied them. The monsters. The swarms. I recorded them with my Omni tool. Lots of readings. Electromagnetic. Dark energy. We need to get this data to the elusive man. Grab the quarry and call the shuttle to come pick us up. What? Vitor is injured. He needs treatment, not an interrogation. We won't hurt him. We just need to see if he knows anything else. He'll be returned unharmed. Your people tried to betray us once already. If we give him to you, we'll never get the intel we need. Praza was an idiot, and he and his men paid for it. You're welcome to take Vitor's Omnitool data, but please, just let me take him. You don't have to take Vitor and go. We could work together, just like old times. I'm still trying to accept that you're even alive, and you're with Cerberus. I've got responsibilities now. I've got a mission of my own. I can't walk away from that. Not even for you. Hmm. 
He's traumatized and he needs medical care. Tally will give us the Omnitool data and take him to the flotilla. Understood, Commander. Thank you, Shepard. I'm glad you're still the one giving the orders. Good luck out there. If I find anything that can help you, I'll let you know. We're ready for pickup. Good deal. I'd say that's just about a fair trade. Shepard, good work on Freedom's progress. The Quarians forwarded their findings from Vidor's debriefing. No new data, but it's a surprising olive branch given our history. You and I have different methods, but I can't argue with your results. You ever think about playing nice once in a while? Diplomacy is great when it works, but difficult when everyone already perceives you as a threat. But more importantly, you confirm the Collectors are behind the abductions. Why do I get the feeling you knew about them already? I had my suspicions, but I needed proof. The Collectors are enigmatic at best. They periodically travel to the Terminus systems, looking to gather seemingly unimportant items or specimens, usually in exchange for their technology. When their transactions are complete, they disappear as quickly as they arrived, back beyond the unmapped Omega-4 relay. Until now, we've had no evidence of direct aggression by the Collectors. Hmm. Why is the Omega-4 relay unmapped? What do we know about it? Only that no ship passing through it has ever returned. Our best guess is that the relay reacts differently to Collector vessels, allowing them safe passage. If they can manipulate relays, that's just further evidence of the connection with the Reapers. Okay, but what aren't you telling me? You're holding me? something back. How do you know the Reapers are involved? The patterns are there, buried in the data. The Consul and the Alliance want to believe the Reaper threat died with Sob. You and I know better. I, I wait until the Reapers are on the march. We need to take the fight to them. If this is a war, I'll need an army. Or a really good team. I've already compiled a list of soldiers, scientists, and mercenaries. You'll get dossiers on the best of them. Finding them and convincing them to work with you could be challenging, but you're a natural leader. I'll continue to track the collectors. When they make their next appearance, I'll notify you and your team. Be ready. Sweet. Keep your list. I want people I trust. The ones who helped me stop Saren and the Geth. That was two years ago, Commander. Most of them have moved on or their allegiances have changed. Where's Garrus Vicarian? The Turian disappeared a few months after you were declared dead. Even we haven't been able to locate him. Where's Caden Olenko? He's still with the Alliance. Promoted, I believe. His file is surprisingly well classified. Where's Erdnot Rex? He returned to Chichanka, and he hasn't gone off-world in over a year. He's trying to unite the Krogan clans. What hmm. about Tally? She already helped us on Freedom's Progress. That was unexpected. I need more intel before I'll commit to that. Where's Liara Tassoni? She's on Ilium. My sources say that she's working for the Shadow Broker. If so, she can't be trusted. Interesting. Okay. Never mind. Okay, I get it. They're not available. You're a leader, Shepard. You'll get who you need. I'm still a Spectre. Maybe I can get the Council to help us out. If you think you can convince them, by all means. Just remember. I mean, we should be able to convince them with everything. Things have changed. You worry about the Collectors. I'll make sure my team's ready. With everything that we did? Good. We should Two be able things to. before you go. First, head to Omega and find Morden Solus. He's a brilliant Solarian scientist. Our intelligence Solus. suggests he may know how to counteract the Collector's paralyzing seeker swarms. I haven't even started and you're telling me what to do? I'm giving you direction. What you do with it is up to you. I'm sure you'll make the right decision. All right. What's the other thing? I found a pilot I think you might like. I hear he's one of the best. Someone you can trust.
Hey, Commander. Just like old times, huh? I can't believe it's you, Joker. Look who's talking. I saw you get spaced. Got lucky, with a lot of strings attached. How'd you get here? It all fell apart without you, Commander. Everything you stirred up, the Council just wanted it gone. The team was broken up, record sealed, and I was grounded. The Alliance took away the one thing that mattered to me. Hell yeah, I joined Cerberus. You really trust the elusive man? Well, I don't trust anyone who makes more than I do. But they aren't all bad. Saved your life. Let me fly. And there's this. They only told me last night. Hey. Look at her. Look at that beauty. The Normandy SR2. Ain't she a pretty one? It's good to be home, huh, Commander? I guess we'll have to give her a name. Heavy weapon ammo capacity, that's cool. Credits, Ceridium, all that good stuff. All right. <laughs> nice. Wearing the sweatshirt. Welcome aboard the new Normandy, Commander. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Salarian professor on Omega. We know the Collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. Without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the Collectors. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most logical place to start. Who are you? I am the Normandy's EDI. artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Having an AI in charge of the Normandy system should give us an advantage. Actually, I am not in control of the ship, Commander. Due to the potential dangers of a rogue AI, Cerberus has severely restricted my capabilities. During combat, I operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's systems. Huh. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. I'm guessing it takes more than just the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. The Normandy has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. Sounds good. Galaxy map. Use the galaxy map to uh, pick new destinations for the Normandy. Private terminal. Use private terminal to get status updates on your squad. Armory. Select weapons for your squad from the armory. Nice, nice. Left we'll to hit up that. Elevator. Use the elevator to access the Normandy. Normandy's other dock decks. Captain's quarters, customize your appearance. Cool. Cool, cool. Tech lab, acquire professor, 
the professor to research upgrades for your squad's equipment. Okay. Huh. Cool stuff. Assemble a team. Meet with Zaid Masani. What else we got? Rendezvous, rendezvous with Kasumi Goto. Travel to Alchera. Project Firewalker. Norman DSR2. One sec, I'm just checking out. Um, wait, so. A scientist is required to use the technical laboratory. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Private terminal. Team status. Ah, so that's how you do. And we have info on these. Ah, that's cool. So it actually tells you who's who. Or like if you have a mission for them. That's Solus, okay. Um, Archangel. Mercenary Commander, okay. Miranda. Dr. O'Kir. What was that? Uh, the Warlord, okay. I don't know if I ever did any of the DLC. Jack, I remember Jack. Um, and the Master Chief Kasumi, that's that one. Okay, cool. Got tons of uh, good info here. What happens if we, oh, you can cycle appearance? What? Seems like it's only her though. Hey. Upgrades, red messages. Shepard reached an agreement with Zaid Masani, Project Firewalker. Normandy crash site located, that's cool. Elusive man, recon hood. Clear face everywhere you go. They send you a hood that the server's issues so it covers operatives. Um, it's additional micro foot is yours in the quarters overlord arc projector Kasumi and that nice Let me uh, chat with Yomi. I'm Yeoman Yeoman? Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew and I must say it's such an honor to work under you commander Shepard I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. Okay, Kelly. Anything else? Is there anything I should know? Joker would like to speak to you on the bridge. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. What are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. I love that. That's Isn't so that the type of such task a good idea for a VI. Yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Unofficially, I observe the crew. Everyone knows how risky our mission is. Many of us may not be coming back. That's a lot of pressure. I have a degree in psychology. I'm good at sensing when people are overly taxed. Cool. You make sure the crew's mental health is sound? Yes. I look for warning signs. I listen. It's not a full-time job, and it's most effective when done informally. We're lucky to have someone with your skills, Kelly. Thank you, Shepard. What else would you like to know? I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Sweet. We're gonna get like a million of these notifications and stuff. We save. Okay, cool. Let's chat with Joker first. Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby. Better than new. It fits me like a glove. And leather seats. Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. The reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I don't want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. It's not the same, Joker. There's nothing here that was even part of the real Normandy. 
there's us. I have to take what I can get. The last two years sucked. You'll see. Even if an AI is spying on us, no way they'll invest this much just to screw us over. It'll be better than the old days. I hope so. I die. Yeah, you're such a downer. <laughs> That's funny. Yes, Shepard. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Okay. Who's he looking at? Armory. Yeah, let's hit that up. Who's loadout? Shepard. Okay. Okay, cool. So, oh, so that's a machine pistol. That's a heavy pistol. And then we have two options as a grenade launcher. Does it tell you what's what? Echo. Okay. Miranda. Okay. Similar. Got it. Oh, cool. And it actually shows like all the weapons and stuff. Like on the tables. Me. Commander, there hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. You may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. Maybe. As long as the elusive man walks his talk, and you do the same, I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. That's been the condition for my service so far. Jacob's a pretty cool I have character. issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. I look forward to working with you, Mr. Taylor. Likewise, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. Cool. Briefing comm room. You talk to Edie there. Where's our, like, mission log? Do we not have one? A scientist is required to use the technical laboratory. Okay, so this time you actually use an elevator. Well, I mean the first one you use an elevator too, but it seems like they're more expensive. The hall. Expensive than this one. How old? Ah, uh, she'll be a year old next month. Oh, you'll miss her first birthday. My family lives in Big Canada. El Shepherd. The men's restroom is on the port side of the ship. Uh -huh. Oops. There we go. Port observation deck. That's the elevator. Okay, so this is pretty similar. Come on, Rupert. I'm sorry, princess. Filaming you. Commander, ah. what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Oh, Cerberus there's a new isn't outfit. as evil as most people believe. <laughs> I forgot. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Hey, well, I'm gonna you change should it probably back, know that I've had extensive but... genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. It's a lot, a lot more friendly now, which is nice. Um, oh yeah, there's a... We have a chef, right? Yeah. Mess Sergeant 
Commander Shepard, the hero of the Citadel. You did humanity proud that day. Miss Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be of service? You have everything you need. I make do. But have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... Oh shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. If I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those Namby Pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. Okay, so we have an ingredients list. Wait, so, oh, there, journal, there it is. Special, okay. Assignments, admissions, overlord. What's this? Gone mission. Uh, ship has gone missing near that. Researchers and prototype planet side exploration. Normandy crash site. Special ingredients. Okay, so dossiers are the people. Sweet. Whoa, we have so many. Oh my god. Dude, I'm so excited. All right, uh, chat, hold on for just a minute here. Um, I'm actually going to go eat something real quick. And then we'll also uh, continue here as well. So I will be right back and then uh, we'll jump back in. So we are being a little bit here. Jump back into it. Go see. Yep, I thought. Is that the doctor? That is. Commander Shepard. I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. I'm shocked. You're serving on a Cerberus vessel now? Surprising. Even to me. Yet, here I am. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people, but not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. You have everything you need. I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. <laughs> I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive. And we have much larger concerns ahead. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. Nice. It's cool seeing the, uh, the people back again. And yeah, of course, if we find the, uh, the items, then we'll grab them. Okay, it's nice. So it tells you your team members. I think I remember that, too. We don't really have any team members down here, but we'll check it out anyways. I know, literally. Uh, it's in my parents' room now. Yeah. Engineer Donnelly. You came all the way down here to Donnelly. see us? You're speaking to our commanding officer. I'm touring the ship, getting to know my crew. I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays, the- Kenneth, you're complaining. <laughs> what kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded yeah. the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there's an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, you're boring the Commander with tech. In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. 
Efficiency isn't affected. It's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. Mm. Area. Well do, Commander. So, yeah, we have a I'm bunch of stuff Shepard to find. Came down to see it. I told you he would. <laughs> It's funny, every time you do a mission, Shepard looks like down or up or whatever. Alright, let's get back to the captain's quarters. Or wait, no, that the captain's quarters is my area. Uh team status? I change our appearance back. So how many people are there in this one? There's it goes from like six to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve people. Pretty big improvement. CIC. Thank you for. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Of course I did. <clears throat> no new messages. Ah, thanks. <laughs> okay, so I I really don't know what to begin with. Um, we have recruit all these people for the Normandy crash site, the old depot. depot. What happens when you enter orbit? Probe launched. In research projects, platinum is used to upgrade sniper rifles, shotguns, and medical equipment. Probe. Probe launched. In research projects, iridium is used to upgrade heavy weapons, submachine guns, and assault rifles. That's a good Probe area launched. right there. In research projects, palladium is used to upgrade heavy pistols, armor, and cybernetics. Okay, so it tells you moderate um, areas, things like that. I guess we can go to Omega and get started on it. Let's dock. Nice. Quad selection, add, add, and confirm. Oh, sweet. They actually check with uh, with you before taking them out on like upgrades. It's pretty sick. Hmm. Um, take this one. Then for him,
do that. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hey. Um. All right. Ah, welcome to Omega. You're new here, aren't you? I can always tell. Allow me to. Oh, hello, Mocklin. I was just. Leave, Fargot, now. Oh, of course, Mocklin. Whatever she wants. Huh? Blasted scavengers. Welcome to Omega, Shepard. You know who I am? Of course. We had you tagged the moment you entered the Terminus systems. You're not as subtle as you think. Oh, yeah. Arya wants to know what brings a dead specter to Omega. I suggest you go to Afterlife now and present yourself. Got it. Cut the attitude. I'm not here to cause problems for Omega. Things explode around you, Shepard. You can't blame Arya for keeping an eye on you. Afterlife, now. I'm receiving quarantine warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. Okay. Um, one second, chat. Hold on, let me get rid of this real quick. about that I had some corn for f for dinner so it was bothering me <laughs> all right we're good now though so they want us to go to the afterlife uh, club which is all down here There's also the mega market we got a ton of stuff to do here Oh. Zaid. Please, you have to help me. No one said you could talk, jackass. You Zaid Masani? Yeah, that's me. You must be Commander Shepard. I hear we have a galaxy to save. I assume you've been briefed. I've done my homework. Cerberus sent me everything I needed to know. My contacts told me we're picking up one man, not two. Batarian delinquent. Pissed off someone rich enough to hire me to go after him, and for my bring him in alive rates even. Please, I didn't do it. I said <laughs> shut it. Tried to leave me on a chase all over the systems. He should have known better. These people always run to Omega. Good to have you, Zaid. We have a lot to do. That's what they tell me. I assume the elusive man told you about our arrangement. No. I guess he decided to leave that information out of the dossier. Good thing I asked. Picked up a mission a little while back, just before I signed on with Cerberus. Thought you might be interested. You heard the name Vito Santiago? He's the head of the Blue Suns. Runs the whole organization. 
Seems he recently captured an Elfell Ashland refinery on Zoya and is using their workers for slave labor. The company wants it dealt with. I'll make sure we get that done. Good. Get it out of the way so we can concentrate on being big goddamn heroes. I better dead? turn this thing in before it starts to stink. I'll be locked and loaded next time you're ready to get some killing done. Okay. Travel to Zoria. Cool. I don't know if I ever remember this planet, to be honest. But cool, we got another guy on our team. Uh. That's the afterlife area, transport depot. You of Omega. Omega, what a piss hole. At least it keeps you on your toes. I've had to come here on business before. I feel like I need a shower afterward, in addition to normal decontamination. Is that guy? I guess he doesn't want to talk. Okay. Before we go to the club, I want to go to like the market. Solar electronics. Lower section marketplace. Okay, sweet. Under Admiral Hackett's orders, money raised from wedding fees goes to funds for alliance veterans. Mad profit. Light with the black jury for a you, sir. You are a blight. You are a caution quarantine in effect. Best denied. Complaining is pointless, human. I told you to get lost, lady. The plague has the whole zone quarantined. Nobody gets in. I'm human, you ass. Humans can't get the plague. Now let me get my stuff out before looters get it. This thing affects every other race out there. We're not taking chances. Nobody gets in until the plague has run its course. So you're saying the slums are completely sealed off? Finally, a human that can hear. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. You can't keep me out. I'm gonna lose all my stuff. I'm doing you a favor, human. Anybody in the quarantine zone will be dead from the plague of the gangs in a few weeks. There's a Solarian named Morden Solus in the slums. I've got to get in there to find him. The doctor? Yeah, a crazy bastard opened a clinic in the district a few months ago. The Blue Suns weren't too happy when he moved in. I hear Morden's trying to deal with the plague. I wish him luck, but the area is still locked down. Our orders are to wait until either the plague or the Blue Suns kill everyone. Then go in and clean up. Damn. Listen, you're stuck here until this quarantine is over. That could take weeks. What you really need is to get this problem solved right now. That's what I do. Solve problems. Let me in and I'll get this district straightened out. You think you can fix this? Why not? Quarantine is more to keep infected people in anyway. I'll radio ahead, tell them you're coming in. Wait, you're stopping me but not them? You son of a bitch. You don't have a grenade launcher, lady. Get <laughs> lost. Well, we can tell her we'll look for her stuff. humans are immune to the plague. I guess if we had different people in our squad, then it would have been like, okay, uh, you're gonna have to swap us out. But we got, yeah, we lucked out right there. Um, hmm. Actually, can I still gain their trust? I'll stick with them for now. Why not? I wasn't sure that, or well, I wasn't aware that we were going to be going straight for the slums, but. I thought we were just going to talk to the guy and be like, all right, I'll go in. Do you want to go in now? No. Clear to come in. Nice. Whew. That could have been sketchy.
talk to him. Good luck in there. Blue suns and orchards shooting anything that moves. I see you, Shepard. I need cover. Just let human should have guessed. <coughs> Bad enough you infect us with this plague. Now you lack the decency to even wait until I die before you come to steal my possessions. <coughs> is there anything I can do for you? Get away from me, human. <coughs> Your kind has done too much already. Your plague did this to me. Your faint pity is the final insult. I need to find Morton Solus. Humans looking for the human Tried sympathizer. To help <laughs> I hope the Vorcher burn Morton and his clinic to the ground. <laughs> I hope you. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> Damn it. Damn you. Can't. Hey, stay with me. This won't cure the plague, but it might help a bit. <laughs> oh, you. You help me. Why? It's what I do. I don't know if I can find a cure for this plague, but I'm gonna try. Your words sound... sincere. <laughs> Maybe it's the fever. But as you said, what have I to lose? What do you wish to know? When I find Morton, I'll tell him about you. If he has a cure, I'll make sure someone gets it to you. <coughs> Thank you. My time is running short. But at least you have given me a flicker of hope to brighten the darkness of my final hours. Oh, I don't want to die. <coughs> huh? <coughs> Whatever Morton is, huh? I will risk it if he can reach me. What do you mean? I should go. Goodbye, human. Okay. Start hack. Oh god. Wait, matching segment. Uh top left blue, top left blue. This one? Oh wait, this one. Nope. Ah, dude, I can't get it. I don't see them. Alright, let's try again. Partially. There's one. Two. Uh, I don't see it yet. Three? Three. Nice. Firewall is removed, full access granted. Nice. Objective is down that way. Door bypass. I wish you could see the map. Before we go down that way, I'm going to go through this door, I guess. I like the style of hacking. It's pretty cool. Looks like he tried to claw his way out. No one wants to die trapped like an animal. Master Zealus in this room said we're infected. Idiots can't tell the difference between the plague and a simple cough. Nothing to do now but sit 
Every time I click, they pull their weapons out. shooting they haven't fired yet Yeah, it's good. Hello? This should come in handy. <laughs> I don't think, I think they're supposed to be hostile and shooting at us right now. Let me see what happens here. No, now they're firing. Shield down. Now we got him. Okay, so the objective is the other way, but the apartments goes down here, so let's see. Oh, thank God, you're Refugee. Human. When we saw that door open, we thought those Turians had found us. Ever since this plague started, the Blue Suns have been out to get us. They're killing as many people as the disease. Why are the Blue Suns hunting you? We didn't do anything. Pretty much every non-human in the district wants us dead. They think we caused the plague. Humans aren't getting sick, and that's all the evidence they need. God knows how many of us they've already killed. They should be looking at the Vorcha, not us. Ever since the plague hit, they've been taking over Blue Sun's territory. You said the Vorcha moved in just after the plague hit? Right after the district was quarantined. Vorcha are immune to diseases, so they're not getting sick. Not sure where they came from. Never saw many Vorcha around before. Sure seemed like they were ready for this. Only nobody thinks the Vorcha are smart enough to create a virus like this. The Blue Suns need someone else to blame. Like us. You said the Vorcha were taking over Blue Suns territory? Trying to. The Blue Suns don't go down easy. The plague softened them up, but they still have enough firepower to hold some of their turf. The Turians are getting pushed back. The deeper you go into the district, the more Vorcha you'll see. Unless they see you first. Hmm. I need to find Morden Solus. 
Oh, yeah. Him. He's got a clinic on the other side of the district. Heard he's taking in refugees now. Trying to help plague victims. Offering protection from the Suns and the Vorcha. Sure. A doctor with military-grade mechs helping people for free. On Omega, grow up. You can't stay trapped in this apartment. If you get to Morden's, you might at least survive until the quarantine ends. Are you nuts? We'd never make it. The streets are crawling with Blue Suns and Vorcha. We don't even have pistols. Besides, I'm not risking my life on a rumor that some Salarian might offer me sanctuary. I hope you get there. I know you're scared, but your only is to get to Morlink. I'm going to be under fire from the Blue Suns and the Vorcha, so I can't take you with me. But I promise you this. I'll do what I can to leave a safe path for you to follow me. It's risky, but I think it's your only chance. Okay, you're right. We'll never make it if we stay here. We have to try. We'll wait here for a while and give you time to clear the way. Then we'll head for Morden's clinic, if we're lucky. Maybe we'll meet you there. Cool. Got any stuff? Ooh, 4,000 credits. I'll take it. Don't mind me. Don't mind if I do. All right, so now we need to go down this way. Here we go. <clears throat> Got to hurt. You're done. That was kind of intense. Partially. Refined elements. Hey, 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 back off. We got here first. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, what did I say? We found this stuff. It's ours. Ah, forget it. Nothing but junk in here. This place is worse than the last one. What are you doing in this apartment? Did you kill that Turian? What, the guy on the floor? Nah, the plague took care of him. We're just here to take a full accounting of all his worldly possessions. Stealing from the dead. That's pretty low. What's the big deal? It's not like they're gonna miss anything. We're just showing a little... entrepreneurial spirit. Plague doesn't affect humans, so we might as well cash in. Besides, if we don't take this stuff, the Vorcha or Blue Suns will. Better us than them, right? No more looting. Oh, what? You gonna shoot us? This plague won't last forever. When the Blue Suns come back, they won't like you looting in their territory. Yeah, well, maybe they won't find out. It's not like there's any witnesses alive to tell them. Are some dead Turian's trinkets and a handful of credits worth that risk? We just wanted to make a bit of quick cash. But when you put it like that, it doesn't sound like such a good idea. Hardly found anything valuable anyway. Yeah, you're probably right. It's not worth it. 
Do you know a Solarian named Morton Solis? Nice. Yeah, I know him. Talk Got a clinic it. right around the corner. Take plenty of ammo if you go that way. It's crawling with blue suns and Voice. Sounds good. We need to get going. Yeah, sure. We'll just stay here for a while. Get some rest. Don't worry, you made your point. We ain't gonna steal nothing. You literally walk out into like the next room and then all of a sudden they draw weapons. Ah, that's no shield. Oh god. Move uh, back, move uh, back. I'm just now realizing that some of them actually don't even have uh, shields, they just have health. So that's kind of cool because it, it helps like uh, diversify the enemies. It seems we've enemies. crossed into Vulture territory. The Blue Suns have given up a lot of turf. That doesn't bode well for them. Um, hold on for just a second here, Chad. I'm just going to uh, grab a drink real quick and then grab something else. So Back chat. Hit this. Probably got like another 30 minutes or so on this game. And then we'll be jumping on to Divinity uh, with the squad. Jordan, Soldier Pat, and Eric. No funny business once you're in the clinic. Unless you want to deal with those max. Good call. Morton's around here somewhere. Uh, go talk to him. We need all the help we can get. Sorry, too busy to stop and chat. You should go find Morton. On our way here, we saw humans looting the apartments of the dead. It made me sick. Wait, was that a weapons loadout? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was. Okay, Morden, where are you at? Use Melanarin, plenty on hand, almost as good. Cause there you are. Of Supplement with butemerol. A man Professor Morden Solis, the legend. Hmm. Don't recognize you from area. Too well armed to be refugees. No mercenary uniform. Quarantine still in effect. Here for something else. Vorcha, crew to clean them out. Unlikely. Vorcha, a symptom, not a cause. The plague. Investigating possible use as bioweapon. No. No, no. Too many guns. Not enough data equipment. Soldiers, not scientists. Yes, yes. Hired guns. Maybe. Relax, Morton. I'm Commander Shepard, and I came here to find you. I'm on a critical mission, and I need your help. Mission? What mission? No, 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 no. Too busy. Clinic understaffed. Plague spreading too fast. Who sent you? It's a covert and privately funded human group. Related to plague. Doesn't affect humans. Human-centric interest. Few human groups would know me. Equipment suggests military origin, not Alliance standard. Spectres, not human. Terra firma, too unstable. Only one option. Cerberus sent you. Unexpected. You're very well informed. Unexpected. How did the Solarian scientist hear about Cerberus? Crossed paths on occasion. Thought they only worked with humans. Why request Solarian aid? The Collectors are kidnapping entire human populations. We're going to find out why and stop them. Collectors? Interesting. Plague hitting these slums is engineered. Collectors one of few groups with technology to design it. Our goals may be similar. But must stop plague first. Already have a cure. Need to distribute it at Environmental Control Center. Vorcha guarding it. Need to kill them. I'll Take get in and deal with the Vorcha. What the hell was that? Forja have shut down environmental systems. Trying to kill everyone. Need to get power back on before district suffocates. Here, take plague cure. Also, bonus in good faith. Weapon from dead blue sun's marks. May come in handy against Forja. 
One more thing. Daniel, one of my assistants, went into Vorta territory looking for victims. Hasn't come back. Keep an eye if out. If I see him, I'll do what I can to help. Thank you. Told him not to go. But he's smart. Bright future. I hope. I found a Batarian plague victim near the entrance to the neighborhood. Can you send someone to help him? Hmm. Risky. Blue Sun's Vorta still battling. District not secure. See what I can do. All right, let's go. Let's head for the environmental plant. Hmm. It's a hand cannon. Okay. Cool. Got some materials, some XP, a journal, med kit. Can we? Is there a, an option to use your like med kits? And battle. Order attack, move forward, boost jump, leave whirl. I don't see one. So many materials in here. I'll take it. <laughs> Just looting all of their stuff. Does it give you like a status for damage and stuff? Highly accurate, effective against weak enemy, sh against shields and biotic barriers, upgrades. The Predator heavy pistol. I'll take it. Raids the Raids the Predator a heavy pistol. I guess you have to use it to upgrade it. Rapid fire high voltage electricity attack. That's actually kind of cool. I'm going to take that. Okay, down this way. shields I think that was awesome. yeah. What? 
Um, chat, hold on for one second. I really, I need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I will be right back.